at 6, a community in Rancho Cucamonga has been out all day mourning two teens, a brother and a sister killed in a deadly crash. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Kathy Barra. Hi everyone, I'm Macalo Medina in for Jonathan Gonzalez. Tonight we're hearing from the father of those teenagers, NBC4's Bailey Miller joins us live with the story from that area. Bailey. Good evening to both of you. There has been a steady stream of people coming out here to this memorial all day long. It really hasn't stopped, and you can feel the pain from this community as they've lost these two teenagers, Elias and Sarah. You can see a big showing of support even right now as they honor their lives. One by one, loved ones, school classmates, teammates, and others took their turns to drop off flowers, light candles, and wipe away each other's tears as hundreds gathered around on the street to honor the lives of 17-year-old Elias and 14-year-old Sarah Cruz. Sarah and Elias were such good people, and they always made people so happy. We all loved her, and we want to keep her spirit alive. Both Elias and Sarah were killed on Friday afternoon when their father says Elias lost control of their car, crashing into a pole and then a tree near Wilson and Haven. Another teenager was in the car, transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. And Sarah on our team was... Um, very loving and giving and like I say, you know, hug like Sarah because Sarah would hug you no matter what, what was going on. She was a love. Both Elias and Sarah were student athletes at Los Osos High School. Elias, a baseball player, and Sarah, a softball and volleyball player. They are um, very outgoing, um, energetic. Their father, Ray Cruz, at the vigil today, sharing who his two kids were. She was very outgoing, very um, vocal. She was outspoken and, and she loved people. Elias is a very um, giving, affectionate, um, outgoing person. He, he was um, soft-spoken. And through his pain, he's now sharing this message to his community. I spoke to them and just talked about, regardless if they're teenagers, the parents, you have to make sure you, every morning when you leave for school, leave for work, you tell them you love them. At night before you go to sleep, you tell them you love them because tomorrow's not promised for anybody. You can't take it for granted, and you're never too cool to hug your parents and tell them you're, <clears throat> you love them. All right, so you can see right now many community members out here paying their respects, and this memorial has only grown bigger and bigger all day long today, and it's expected to get bigger, of course, because you can just see how many people love these teenagers, Elias and Sarah, and they continue to show up for them. Reporting live here in Rancho Cucamonga, I'm Bailey Miller. I'll send it back to you.